Making a decision for God after making a choice about God is the proper order for a beautiful life. First, we stopped playing God, the director. Then we develop a deeper faith and a power beyond our understanding by keeping an open mind and an open heart. Being vulnerable, a true leap of faith that we will be protected and provided with more than our wildest dreams. Our wants become what we already have. Prayer and meditation keep us connected to our higher power. We're going to start with the serenity prayer, and then we'll go into the daily reflections. If you or someone you know are questioning yourselves about whether or not you're an alcoholic or whether they are an alcoholic or drug addict, reach out. We can help you. You don't have to do it alone. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. November 18th, a safety net. Occasionally, we are seized with a rebellion so sickening that we simply won't pray. When these things happen, we should not think too ill of ourselves. We should simply resume prayer as soon as we can, doing what we know to be good for us. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 105. Sometimes I scream, stomp my feet, and turn my back on my higher power. Then my disease tells me that I am a failure, and that if I stay angry, I'll surely get drunk. In those moments of self-will, it's as if I've slipped over a cliff and am hanging on by one hand. The above passage is my safety net, in that it urges me to try some new behavior, such as being kind and patient with myself. It assures me that my higher power will wait until I am willing once again to risk letting go, to land in the net, and to pray. Thinking we have power is how we ended up so close to dying at the hand of the bottle. Selfishness, self-centeredness is the root of our troubles. If we lose that constant contact with our higher power, we lose the strength needed to stay recovered from our illness. Prayer, meditation, and helping others is how we keep that constant contact and thusly live a happy and free life. It is simple to explain and often difficult to practice. The desire to control and be in charge is often quite overpowering that we never want to get close to the line of demarcation that we slip back into those dark waters. Waking in the morning and having the first thought of his power and direction improves our chances of having another awesome day. Unless the house is on fire, we can always make time for even a short prayer where we ask for his continued help in staying sober and to focus on helping others. We are never alone when our faith is strong and we prioritizing making time to check in. If or when we play God and think we are overneeding it, we are in a perilously dangerous neighborhood. We would be playing Russian roulette and our insanity is clearly returning. We know the solution and we are purposely throwing it away. We know better, yet our ego and self-will delude us. Perhaps one of the greatest rewards of meditation and prayer is the sense of belonging that comes to us. We no longer live in a completely hostile world. We are no longer lost and frightened and purposeless. The moment we catch even a glimpse of God's will, the moment we begin to see truth, justice, and love as the real and eternal things in life, we are no longer deeply disturbed by all the seeming evidence to the contrary that surrounds us in purely human affairs. We know that God lovingly watches over us. We know that when we turn to him, all will be well with us, here and hereafter. He has been with us through the rough times when we blotted him out with booze, and he smiled when we finally got out of our own way and saw the light. November 18th, a safety net. Occasionally, we are seized with a rebellion so sickening that we simply won't pray. When these things happen, we should not think too ill of ourselves. We should simply resume prayer as soon as we can, doing what we know to be good for us. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 105. Sometimes I scream, stomp my feet, and turn my back on my higher power. 
then my disease tells me that I am a failure, and that if I stay angry, I'll surely get drunk. In those moments of self-will, it's as if I've slipped over a cliff and am hanging on by one hand. The above passage is my safety net, in that it urges me to try some new behavior, such as being kind and patient with myself. It assures me that my higher power will wait until I am willing once again to risk letting go, to land in the net, and to pray. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.